guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, I'm back in the States. I'm back in California. See? San Francisco, California. I'm back at home with my family and it's been two and a half years. And guys, I'm ready to go shopping. I really, really want to go to Target. I just love Target. It's been two and a half years. I'm ready to buy some art supplies, some toys. And after Target, I want to go to Toys R Us. If you guys know Toys R Us, it kind of shut down a few years ago in the States. But Macy's actually bought the company and is actually making a comeback this year. So guys, I think I'm ready for a huge haul. So obviously, I'm not going to buy like the whole store. But I'm ready to buy anything that I want. So yeah, let's just jump right in. No budget, Target, and Toys R Us haul. Let's get started. And I'm at Target. I love here. So I'm here today to buy all the toys, some stationery. But before anything, let me go to the snack section. Snack, snack. <laughs> I've been craving for some snacks that you can only get in America for like ever. For example, um... Oh look, Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Japan doesn't have cereals. What else should I get? The Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms. <laughs> all the cereals. Maybe like circus animals? Reese's! Oh, I need to get hot Cheetos. Are there no normal hot Cheetos anymore? All I could find are these ones. I want the normal hot Cheetos. Okay, I think I'm good with the snacks. Let's go to the toy section. I wonder where's the toy section. <gasps> Guys, I found it! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute! I haven't been here for so long, I'm so excited. I want to see if there's something new. Really interesting new toys. So what do we have here? <gasps> These are cute! It's a little tent for the dolls. I wonder if my dog could use it. Or no, it's a little bit too small. And here's some more toys. I bought this before. I bought these before. Here's some Barbies, the Barbie section, and some Disney stuff. Ooh, Raya! Oh, there's a lot of Raya stuff. I wonder if they have the Encanto stuff. These dolls are so adorable. I kind of want to customize them. I want to try these. So like little surprise boxes. I'm guessing there's like princesses inside? Let's get like two to three of these. <gasps> Look at these. I wanna try these. Maybe one more. And here's a different one. So some Disney surprise toys. Oh, the LOL section. I wonder if they have like any DIY toys. I wanna play with the DIY toys. <gasps> these are the mini brands. I love them. Maybe some few Disney ones. I kinda want these, but apparently they don't have it anymore. Let me try the unicorn one. Hmm. I don't see any DIY toys. I wonder if they're like in a different section. Oh wait, here's some. I feel like there's more somewhere, but here's some. A swirl magic lip gloss. Interesting. Maybe we can try that. Apparently you can make pottery. A lot of these like pottery toys turn out to be disastrous. So let's see if this one works. Fairy garden! <laughs> DIY hydro bottle. I mean, I could just get like a normal hydro bottle and paint on it. Create your own squeezy. I'm not sure about this, but this is only $10, so that's actually really cheap. Here's some kinetic sand. Play-doh. What do we got here? Hmm... Oh, what's this? It's a Pokemon Trivia Trainer. I think my brother is gonna own this game. <gasps> Animal Crossing Monopoly! <laughs> oh, I need friends. <laughs> so these are all like the puzzle games. Oh, these are so cute but kind of scary at the same time. So some of the stuff that I'm buying are from my other channel. So I'm not going to be opening everything that I got here today. 
Do I need anything else from the toy section? Hmm. Maybe one Barbie. Let's go with this one. Okay, I'm gonna buy a little bit more of these. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, so I'm done with the toy section. Lastly, I'm gonna go to the stationery section. Let's go! I'll also get some stuff if I find something along the way. Let's see. I'm lost. <laughs> Where's the stationery section? Oh, here it is. There's honestly so many cricket stuff. I want to buy a cricket here as well. I know I have one back in Japan, but I'm really thinking about it. Hmm, what's a comic sketchbook? Oh, <laughs> it has the lines in for you. Interesting. Oh, this is so cute. I kind of want it, but I don't need it. Here's some more DIY toys! Oh look, diamond painting, rock painting kit. These are fun! Oh Crayola, how I used to love you so much. Wow, there's like no glue at all. The only thing here is like a metallic glue and color changing glue. Oh, I wanted some Elmer's glue because I wanted to make some slime. Oh, some coloring books! And maybe some brushes. Maybe some like beauty supplies? Oh, I love these! Hmm. I wonder if these work. Looks kind of cute. Ooh, bath bombs! Maybe some hair accessories. Let me try this. And I think I'm done shopping at Target. Let's move on. And I'm at Toys R Us. So it's actually Macy's, but if you guys know, Macy's bought Toys R Us. Toys R Us kind of closed down in the States, but some Macy's have like a small section for toys. See, it's Toys R Us. I think there's going to be more opening in 2022. So let's see what they have here. Ooh, cute. I wonder if they're similar to the ones in Japan. Oh, you can make your own perfume. These are actually really cute. Oh, you can make your own spinning art. I love it. Hmm. I've been seeing a lot of tie-dye kits. Ooh, a decoupage kit. There's actually a lot of DIY kits here. Some Disney stuff. Oh, turning red! Wait, she kind of looks scary here. Toy mini brands! I wanted these. Target didn't have this version. Let's try opening it. <gasps> the Harry Potter section! And it's on sale. I kind of want this. A place. <laughs> It could be a really cute display, but I literally have nowhere to put it. I'm actually amazed with this Harry Potter section. <laughs> I thought I said poop and play and I was like, what? <laughs> Turning red shrinky dinks. Oh, I think this is gonna be cute. Oh, hi guys! Guys, this is 60% off! Pink Pops, I've never seen this before, but I'm kind of intrigued. I want to see how it works. Um, guys, I don't think I can hold anymore, so I think I'm done for today. It was kind of like an all-you-can-hold challenge. Anyways, I'm done. Let's go back home. And I'm back home. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. 
Okay, I may not exactly remember what I got from where, so I'm probably going to mix some stuff up. But let's start with the Target bag. So let me put these away. Okay, so first off, I got Barbie Cutie Reveal. I think I'm going to unbox this on my other channel. And next up, I got a pottery kit. And it looks something like this. It's quite heavy. I really, really hope this works. I've seen a lot of other pottery kits, but they turn out to be like a disaster. So hopefully this one works. I actually can't wait to try this out. So a pottery kit. Here I have some more boxes. This is called the Crazy Art My Look. <gasps> There's a hole in the back. I should have checked it, but it's okay. So I think you can make like some lava lip gloss, which is so cute. And this, again, is from Crazy Art My Look. And apparently you can make some gems. This kit kind of reminds me of resin, but I mean, it's just so cute. I love all these like crafty DIY toys. There's so many things you can make. And what do we have here? Ooh, some Reese's. I actually got some more snacks, but I ate them already. So yeah, next. I got two sets of brushes. I think these are actually like really good display to put on the back. Like, you know, somewhere around here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but you know, I use brushes all the time. So we'll see how they work if I ever use them. Where should I put it? Perfect. I also got a lot of small random stuff. A lot of mystery toys. For example, mini brand. I got a few different kinds of mini brands. So this is the Magic Color Change Diapers um, Unicorn Squad and the Disney version, which I actually really, really like. So here's three and some more mini brands. Next up, I got some Disney mystery boxes, like these princess boxes. So here I have four of these. I also have a different Disney princess mystery box and these teacups. And apparently there's like plushies inside. And I've got three of those. And oh yeah, some iPads. Okay, so I think this is all the stuff that I got from Target. Moving on to Toys R Us. So first off, I got this Poppet toy. This Poppet's actually quite big. It's huge! Poppets are still really popular in Japan. So I wanted to show this to my Japanese subscribers. So I'm probably going to unbox it on that channel. Next, I got some shrinky dinks. But they're just not like normal shrink dinks. It's from Turning Red. Yes, I've watched Turning Red and I have to say, it's not like my favorite, favorite Disney movie ever, but it was so cute. And she really reminds me of myself. I mean, to be honest, I kind of look like her. I have a bob. I look super Asian and I know she's from Canada, but I grew up in the States. I used to do flute. I used to take French classes. I used to play with Tamagotchi. So yeah, I feel like there's a lot of similarities between me and May. So turning red, here I have Pink Pops. Have you guys heard of Pink Pops before? So you basically like pop these things to make art. Interesting, very interesting. And I think this is last. And lastly, but not least, I also got this like spin art thing. And it looks something like this. Again, I've never tried it before, but apparently you put like a canvas in the middle and you can spin it and pour some like acrylic on top. And you can like create all these kinds of spinning art. And everything kind of sounds messy. <laughs> so if I ever do play with these, I probably need to wear something that I don't need. And um, I think that's all guys. There are so many toys. <laughs> Again, I'm going to unbox them a lot on my other channel. And if I end up not using any of these, I am going to donate them. So don't worry, they're not going to waste. So before we end this video, I want to open some things. What do you guys want to open? I kind of want to open like one mini brand and this plushie. So let's see what we have. The reveal. I mean, this teacup is just so cute. And, oh, and here we have Ariel plushie. Oh, this is so adorable. Look at her. I love this. Now I kind of wish I got more. And Ariel is my favorite princess. And lastly, this toy mini brand. It's actually my first time opening these. I've opened the Disney one before, but not this version. So let's see what I got. Okay, let's start with this one. So here we have, oh, Dora. Dora the Explorer. Okay, I'm not too familiar with the show, but it's cute. Next, here we've got 
of Mini Mini Brand and it's the Unicorn Squad. So here's the bigger version and this is the smaller version. I've heard that they put things inside these small ones so I kind of want to try opening them because I can feel that there's something inside. Next. This is washable glue. Ooh, Crayola glue. That's cute. Like a miniature Crayola stuff. I wanted something Crayola, so this is so cute. And next, here we have a bunch of balloons. A lot of balloons. It feels really squishy. I'm guessing they have like some kind of sponge inside. Why do I want to try like opening all of these? I'm so curious to know what's inside. And lastly, here we've got a dinosaur. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it's so realistic. I could totally see this up on the shelves. And we have the list here. Ooh, there's glow in the dark ones. And some metallic ones. Oh my god, there's so many. I honestly want like the Crayola stuff. Like the little paints and stuff. And put it up as display because I think it fits into my room. I am thinking of unboxing a lot of these on my other channel, my Japanese channel. But I do want to open some on this channel as well. So please let me know which one you guys want to see the most. The grand total of everything today, I think cost me around like $600. Somewhere between $550 and $600. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!